Okay, welcome back to the video. So now we are here on Warlock. So Warlock, uh, Warlock, they got some pretty interesting demons. They got demon synergy here. So that works with them. Uh, they, the cards they had coming back from the last year, uh, they have some good cards. They have the, they have a few cards. Like they have the uh, lackeys coming back. They have Evil Recruiter, which is obviously going to be insane. But if you take a look, uh, Rise of Shadows. So here. They have evil, oh, sorry, not evil recruiter, evil genius. So they have evil genius from Rise of Shadows. So they got the little laggy synergy there. They've got, uh, let me get to see if here's a whole do. They got removals. So they got Plague of Flames as a removal. They got Embalming as a removal. They got here, evil recruiter, which finally has an opportunity to be in the same set as a set that has lackeys. And I think this is a really powerful early to mid game possibility because this is a common and you're going to pick the lackey cards so this is going to go off a lot and you're going to win games a lot on this and that was not that has not been the case with any of the time saviors of old doom has been in arena so that's something they have to play around all right uh for descent of dragons like they still have the dragon cards the op dragon cards here with nether breath and crazy nether wing although that's probably not going to go off that much and they still have over here Twisted Knowledge, which is just completely busted cards. Discover two, two mana, discover two cards, and their Warlock cards. So you're going to get your answers. So with Ashes of Outland, they got some, I would say, none of the cards are really exceptional. They got good cards, but none of them are like blow away cards. Like there's one that's kind of borderline. But anyway, so after that, hold on, let me sort this back to low to high. Let's take a look at the cards they got. All right, so first one here. Shadow Council. One mana, replace your hand with demons, give them plus two, plus two. So there was a card before, Bottled Madness, which did the same thing for zero mana and no buff. So spending a card to replace your hand is bad because you're giving up a card. So you need to somehow get that card back from whatever RNG effect. Now, plus two, plus two is a little bit different. Because if you replace your hand with demons, number one, there's plenty of good demons going around. I went over the demon hunter class, what's going around there. Number two, the plus two plus two buff is good. Three, this impacts spells, or this impacts dead cards. Like if you have the one one imps from embalming, so that's a possibility there. So I'm going to be generous and say that this is a high two, low three card, right on the precipice. So I don't think that... I. It's a weird thing because you need to have a hand that you want to do this to, and you need to have a reason to do it because your hand is mediocre. But because this is Arena, and because this is Warlock, it is not unheard of that you will have like a bunch of bad cards or unusable cards for one reason or another in your hand. So having this might actually be worth it there. Unstable Fell Bolt. Deal 3 damage to any minion and a random friend friendly one. This becomes a lot better when you're behind on board, or a lot better in the early game when you don't have minions on the board because that's one mana deal three damage and that's really really powerful so the problem is is if you have anything on the board this <clears throat> like it's kind of like a negative temp it's like zero tempo for a card which is not what you want so this is a low three star card i just i don't trust it like i don't trust that there, there there's going to be too many situations where this is going to be an unplayable card Okay, Imprisoned Scrap Imp. Dormant for two turns on this awakens. Give your minions in your hand plus two, plus two. So two mana for that. Uh, double the cost. It's four mana. So four mana, buff your hand. That sounds sounds like a card that everybody loves too much who is not, who's not a hardcore player. Yep. All right, so the comparisons aside. So we got Arena Fanatic, which was two, three for plus one to everything in your hand. This is effectively three, three and plus two. This is actually good. I mean, this is a four-star card. I mean, for what you're paying, if it hits on one thing, it's fine. And it's going to hit on more than one thing. And your Warlock, so you get kind of control over it. Plus, it makes all those mediocre cards that you draft just for the sake of being a Warlock a lot better. It, it encourages you to play a Zeus-style deck. So, yeah, this is a four-star card. This is do not sleep on this card. Carathud Ebonlock. Carathud. 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 
Ebon Lock. Okay, Ebon Lock. Ebon Lock, 2 mana, 3, 2. Your demons cost less. Uh, one less. Shuffle. Why can't you say Aaron? Ebon Lock Prime? Carathed Prime into your deck. I, I, I'm scared when Outlook reads this card. I really am. All right. 2 mana, 3, 2. Your demons cost one less. That'd be Mech Warper. Okay. Ebon Lock Prime. Battlecry summon three summons three friendly demons that died this game. So in arena, your demons are probably going to be smaller demons to begin with. So it's a seven six. It's going to summon three demons that died. You're going to get above average, but this isn't like the uh, completely blow out the game levels of power that the prime cards generally have. So here, like I think it's a good card. It's not great. Uh, it's a, it's a three star card. It doesn't really do enough to justify being a great card. Dark Glare, much better. After Hero takes damage, refresh two mana crystals. Meaning, if this is on turn five, from turn five on, every single time you Hero Power, it costs zero mana. Like, yeah. And then you can even get more if you have self damage effects, so you can, like, cheat out tempo. Like, I compare this, I compare this, um, the two big three drop cards uh, Pyromancer in mage and the uh, arcane anomaly in mage so this is a better version of the uh pyromancer in mage the three mana three four that drew a card if you killed an enemy with your hero power and i would say this is worse than the anomaly but only by a little bit so this is a very high not on anomaly amp amplifier amplifier and it's, uh, sorry amplifier and pyromaniac looking at my notes so i compare it to those cards it's better than Pyromaniac because of the effect, and it's worse than Amplifier because it doesn't actually do anything with the effect. But yeah, easy high four-star card with this. Nightshade Matron, Rush, Battle Cry, discard your highest cost card, four mana, five, five. So Militia Commander was one of those cards that people never really um, knew how good it was because in the bucket system, it was actually bucketed appropriately, and it was always a top bucket card. So it never had that impact of being under bucketed or that impact of just being in a dominant class in the meta so because four mana five five rush is insane because you pretty much kill anything on turn three or turn four so discarding your highest cost card that sounds bad but remember that doom guard was five mana five seven discard two cards at random and you didn't know what they were here you know what you're discarding so you have the choice whether or not to play it and you have a really, really, really powerful effect on curve. So yeah, this is an easy five-star card for me. Dark Portal, draw minion. If you have at least eight cards in your hand, it costs five less. Zero star card. One, you're not going to have eight cards in your hand. Two, the card you're going to have is likely going to, the minion you're going to draw is likely going to be under five mana. So like, I can see this in Constructed, but no, not in Arena, zero stars. <clears throat> and to go down when you play or discard this draw three cards uh there are ways to discard this if you can make this the highest cost card in your hand so it's not unusable in that sense but it's six mana draw three cards most of the time and that's way too expensive so this is like a low one a low two star card it's not unplayable but it's bad Keller than the breaker about cry destroy minion if drawn this turn instead destroy all minions except this one so, uh, it's a six mana vile spine at its absolute worst. And if you draw it this turn, which is going to happen, it wipes the board. It's a Nova, and you put this, or sorry, uh, not Nova, Nether. It's a Nether, and you put this on the board. So, that sounds insane, but it's the same thing with like uh, AoE cards. You don't want to play the AoE every turn. You want to hold the AoE. The AoE is really situational. You don't want to be forced into playing it. So it's still six mana kill a minion, and it still has the potential to completely wipe the board and put this on the board. So because of that, it's still a six star card. Like it's still insane. It's just not as insane as it could be. Enhanced Dreadlord. Eight mana, five, seven taunt. Death Rattle, seven to five, five Dreadlord with lifesteal. So. 5-7 taunt would be probably about a 6 mana card, plus 5 mana cards. So we're talking 11 mana, plus taunt, plus lifesteal, all of which Warlock needs. So what is this? This is a good card. This is a 4-star card. This is a sticky minion. 
It's a minion that's going to stall your opponent. If they don't have removal, they have to go through taunt, which is not good for them. And then, because you have the lifesteal, that also has taunt, and they have to remove that somehow. So, yeah, really powerful card for stats, really powerful card for effect, four-star card. All right, <clears throat> that is it for Warlock. So one more class to go in Warrior. And then after that, I will go over the entire neutral set, which, as I've said before, is the strongest neutral set that we have ever seen. So I'll see you guys then.